Hi Tribe, I'm Evelyn and this is Demon Dialogue, the place on Objectively Talk where we talk about everybody's favorite topic, our demons. <clears throat> so, generally I keep things very light and happy on this channel because demons are hard. Working on self-growth, getting yourself just that 1% better over time is really hard. And, and so you want to kind of keep a positive attitude as you do it, right? But the truth of the matter is, if, if you're trying to do anything, you know, there's this saying, and I'm, I'm going to butcher it, I'm going to paraphrase it, right? It's anything worth having is hard. Anything worth doing is hard, okay? And I'm a strong believer in that. I'm a strong believer in uh, easy or the hard things are not given to you right? The real things, the real victories are not handed to you. And so therefore, by definition, if you're trying to grow yourself, if you're trying to uh, see an improvement in yourself, if you're trying to train and, and change you, there's going to be some difficulties and there's going to be some mistakes. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. It's really funny because, well, it's not, <laughs> it's not funny, haha. It's funny, interesting, um, because I had already decided to do this topic. I was going to do it because of something that happened um, in the beginning of the week. So I'm recording this the day, the same day it's going to post this time because of uh, schedule issues and stuff. But um, in the beginning of the week, I had this thing happen um, in this in this group I'm in where I missed a, a message. Right, there's a bunch of messages I missed. It actually wasn't that I missed the message is I missed a part of what was in the message. And then I replied to the part that I saw and the person, and then, and then the person and I are kind of getting into it afterwards. And she, and, and she said to me, well, if you just hadn't have ignored what I said, you would, you would be, you would understand or something like that. And I said, what do you mean ignored your first message? I didn't see a first message. And I go back and I was like, wow, I saw the first message. I didn't see the second part of it or whatever. I completely misunderstood. I, I did not mean to ignore this person. I felt really bad about it. And then, and then yesterday, uh, Versavi and I were recording an episode of the podcast and I forgot to hit record. And I didn't realize that I forgot to hit record until we were done. I mean, whole entire podcast recorded, um, did some planning for after, <laughs> for the next thing. And I didn't hit record. And guys, I, I felt so awful. I hold myself to a higher standard. I like my entire life. I've been this way. I don't know why I'm this way. I don't know what causes me to be this way, but I mean, my whole life, I remember my mom even telling me, you need to, you need to stop, you know, you need to, to be okay with making mistakes. Like you're human, you're perfect. And that's what people try to tell me. They try to tell me you can make mistakes, but the truth of the matter is you won't feel like you can make a mistake until you yourself give yourself that space. As much as other people can help you on your journey, you have to do that for you. And that has been a deep learning for me. That is a practice for me. I make a mistake and I want to just bang on myself. I, I mean, the negative things that come to me when I make a mistake are awful. They're awful. They are, you're stupid. You should have known better. That's not something you should do. You're just filling all the stereotypes. You name it, I say it to myself. And one of the things, you know, a therapist said to me once, I mean, like I said, this has been a life issue, okay? <laughs> this is not an OPS issue. This is a life issue for me of being so hard on myself and having such an impossible standard. But a therapist said to me once, would you ever talk to your daughter this way, right? And even if you don't have kids, right, but you have somebody in your life you care about, you have a best friend, you have a partner, you have a dog, you have a cat, you have a lizard, you have a kid, a baby, something you have, right? If that thing made a mistake and you knew it was an honest mistake, you knew that person or that thing or whatever, your lizard didn't purposely do this to you, right? It was a mistake. And they came to you and they said, oh my gosh, I made a mistake. I feel awful about it. What would you say? You would give that thing space, right? That your lizard, <laughs> you'd give your lizard space and you'd say, you know what, lizard, it's okay. It's okay that you made that mistake. I know you were trying your best. Next time, just try harder. Is there anything we can change or anything like that? But you know what? It's okay. And I still need to practice and work on that for myself. As you go on the self-growth journey, 
you're going to make mistakes. And some of these mistakes are not even going to be obvious to other people because you might be working on something like in my case, right? I've got demon sensory. So this whole like missing a piece of a message or whatever, um, for another person, that's just like a little bump in the road, you know, they can work through that. And that's the whole thing with saviors and demons, right? You know, I have a lot of, uh, savior sensory friends that make a lot of detail mistakes, but when they make those mistakes, they bump through it. Cause they're like, well, I know I'm responsible for the sensory. That's just a speed bump. I'm gonna keep going. I make that same mistake and it, it will wipe me out. Like this seems like not a big deal. And even as I'm telling you the story, tribe, I was wiped out. I was really wiped out by that. Uh, and it's because I'm working so hard on paying attention to the sensory. And then I didn't. And I felt really bad because a person really misunderstood uh, where I was coming from. And so you need to give yourself that space because your friends, your family, they're going to try to. They're go if you've got good friends and family, if you've surrounded yourself by good people, which I have in my life, I have surrounded myself with good people, people who are here for me, people who support me. I've supported, I've surrounded myself with a tribe. And my tribe is always there for me. And I know they're there for me, but I'm not there for me. Not all the time. And it's a practice. And you got to do whatever you got to do. So last night, what did I end up doing after I realized this? You know, there's often people say stuff like set 20 minute timer and just rage against them, get it all out, right? And, um, and so this one, I'm going to go a little bit longer than I normally do. Just a tad, maybe, maybe not even longer. I don't know. Some, anyway, I'm going to, I just want to finish this part of the story. So I set a 20 minute timer and I was going to just go outside with no phone, no nothing, which save your consume. That's hard to do. And it's funny because at first, you know, we were like, should I take the baby? It's like, no, that's play. Like that's doing for the tribe still. Like Evelyn needs to go process this, you know? And I was about to just go outside and at least for me with NT with a side order of NF, I've really learned to, to listen to my NF side. Listen to that part of me that doesn't make a lot of sense. I would, and I say I was called, okay, I'm not religious, but something made me go back and I actually have a Buffalo drum. I actually have a medicine drum. Uh, I pulled that drum out. I went out in our front yard here, which is kind of a wilderness mess. And I just drummed and I got it out. I did for 20. So I set a timer for 20 minutes and I went back to some of the, the hippie practices that I have been taught, um, in terms of like, just kind of rhythm and drumming and kind of getting it out. I mean, this isn't it, but I've got a djembe here. Um, you know, so sometimes you just need to get that rhythm out and you need to just let that pulse and feel it, at least for me. Okay. Right. For me. And so I would recommend everybody on the self growth journey, know what's a healing modality for you. Is it prayer? Is it meditation? Is it swimming? Is it, um, you know, for some of you who have different, you know, stacks and stuff, it might, it might be reading a book. It might be listening to something. It might like for me, motivational speeches and stuff, all they do, like I'm already tired. Like I joke, I'm already dialed to 11. I don't need to go to 12, right? I don't need Tony Robbins yelling at me or whoever yelling at me. <laughs> like that's not what I need. I need to go the other way. I need to go into what doesn't logically make sense. What is embodied in feelings. That's what I need to do. Um, to, to be able to process and get that. So, um, I'm curious to hear where other people are on this journey. I'm just here to tell you, you got to have that as part of it. Part of developing yourself means having a practice to forgive yourself, to give yourself space, to, space to make mistakes, to allow that because, and this one, one last thing, something, this is something we learn in leadership training is the best employees. If you want to build your employees and build your team, you have to let them fail early. They have to fail early because they learn from those failures and they do better. If you make the bar so high that it's like, you can't fail, you cannot fail. It doesn't, the, the team, it doesn't work. And so even with my new employees coming in, like interns and, and college grads and stuff, I tell them like, make a mistake, go ahead and make it make it now when it's small and early and no big deal, right? We don't want you to make a mistake further down the line. Those are big mistakes and, and people's lives can be at, at stake, um, depending on the work you're doing, right? 
So, and that's the deal with self-growth. Your life is at stake. Your life is. So make that mistake. Give yourself the opportunity to make those little mistakes and then heal, process those feelings and move on. All right. That's it, guys. Have a good one. Bye.